evening everyone and a very warm welcome. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Claire, I'm the manager here at Clitheroe Castle Museum and as I said I'd like to welcome you here today to the Stewards Gallery and the opening of Adrienne Seed's exhibition Castles in the Air. Now, as you may already know, Adrian was the winner of last year's Ribble Valley Open Selectors Prize. The main part of that prize being a solo exhibition here in 2018. And I would like to congratulate Adrian um, on the fantastic collection of work that you've brought together, which includes paintings, of course, but also some beautiful sculptures and some paintbrushes with um, famous faces on, which I'm particularly taken with. Um, now, Adrienne is going to say a few words, um, but before you do, I would like to introduce and welcome Councillor Ian Brown. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, ladies. There's a mic on this. <laughs> well, I mean, wasn't expecting to be on the telly. Right, on behalf of Lancashire County Council and Ribble Valley Borough Council, I'd like to congratulate Adrian on both winning the Ribble Valley Selectors Prize and providing the artwork for a solo exhibition. I found it actually diverse and really exciting for somebody that doesn't really do art very well. Certainly I didn't do it at school and I got bad marks for that, but anyway. <laughs> it's a pleasure to welcome such a talented and diverse artist to clear the road. Yay! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the heckler? Get, get, get the bouncers. <laughs> For those of you who don't know Adrian, she was born in Blackburn, which firmly places her roots in the local area. After studying art at Blackburn College, she then went on to graduate with an arts degree from St Martin's School of Fine Art. Adrian has lived, travelled, worked and exhibit, exhibited around the world in places as diverse as the Far East, Greece, Ibiza and America. These very inf various influences can be seen in her work. I'm pleased to tell you that the exhibition is open from today until the 24th of June and I would now like to wish Adrian a successful exhibition and I will pass over to the lady herself. Okay. <laughs> right. And first of all, uh, thank you very much for coming everyone. Um, as we, I've lost half of my crowd because <laughs> they've gone off um, early on, but um, thank you very much for being my crowd for this, and uh, thank you for coming. Um, I want to say a particular thank you to Claire and the rest of the team who have worked so hard in helping me put this show on, and it was a lot of work, but you know, they were fantastic, and along with the people who voted for me as the People's Choice and awarded me this amazing opportunity to showcase my work here at Clitheroe Castle, which I'm very proud to do. Um, like John Chapman, who had the exhibition before me, I realised that I'd also been, painted, been painting for 50, <laughs> 50 years or more, uh, probably close, closer to 60, and that was quite a shock to realise that I'd been painting that length of time, or even I'm still here, to be honest. Anyway, as you know, there aren't many famous women artists. Um, that was historical to a large extent, and that women weren't encouraged or allowed to study art uh, at art schools. But now there's a growing uh, recognition of female painters, and in particular older ones. So maybe my time has come, and yours too, Willa Williams. <laughs> um, um, I count myself extremely lucky that I was able to study, uh, first here at Blackburn Tech, and um, later at St Martin's uh, in London. And I have in fact painted all my life, and I've overcome overwhelming hurdles at times, particularly health-wise. And throughout these dark times, I've had the backing of my very special friends, who know who they are, <laughs> and some of whom have decided to arrive fashionably late, if not at all, and they will <laughs> <laughs> cop it afterwards. <laughs> and, uh, but mostly uh, my sister Julie, who told me, oh. to take, she told me to take this out, but there's no way I was going to. Yay! <laughs> but mostly my sister Julie, who like Van Gogh's brother, I mean she does live in Holland, but she's been like Van Gogh's brother, and she's enabled me to continue painting, and has been and continues to be my constant support. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Uh, I have tried, like my heroine Frida Kahlo, an artist and mm -hmm. activist whose motivation was mm -hmm. to turn pain into purpose. Mm -hmm. um, you will notice, <laughs> oh, and I've endeavoured to try to do the same, 
And you'll notice that Frieda is there in the display cabinet in brush form, along with other, some other famous characters. Um, I love the idea of turning the very tool you use to paint with into a work of art in itself. I love that idea. And I also thought I'd better create my own audience just in case no one turned up. So, <laughs> but thank you. I have you. Okay. Um, I've been told that my style of painting is very difficult to categorise and that I don't fit into any particular genre. A dreamscapist is possibly the closest, but maybe someone could come up with a new genre for me and post it in the suggestion box. No rude comments, thank you. <laughs> and we could even have a competition. Anyway, I'll leave you now to look at the exhibition, and I'm hoping it's a yes from Simon Cowell, <laughs> and that Joanne normally thinks it's absolutely fabulous, and I hope you agree. And please don't forget to sign my visitors. Woo! Let's get it!